What's going on YouTube? Check out this AutoVox dash cam with backup camera. This one has a touch screen display. Let's break this thing open and see what we get. All right, we've got Super User Program, Amazon Reviewer Program, and a warranty card. We've got the Autovox M6 instruction manual. Just put these things right over here. And then there's our, boy, this thing is big. This thing is big, guys. Let's pull her out of the box here. Look at that. Goodness, this is a big rearview mirror, guys. So there's your camera. This is where you hook your straps to to wrap around your rearview mirror. Let's see, we've got a memory card, AV, USB. We got a reset button right here. Power button down here on the bottom. Let's see what we get in the box. All right, guys, we've got our charging slash power cable. We've got this uh, LED illuminated waterproof backup camera right here. Here's the wiring to hook up the backup camera. Here's your straps to wrap your mirror around your existing rear view mirror and a cleaning cloth. All right guys, so here's everything you get in the box all laid out nice and neat. You got your power button on the bottom. Just simply push it. As you can see, it starts coming to life. It's going to want an SD card and it's going to beep at us. But I think the coolest part of this one is you have the touch screen display here, guys. Boom. Look at that. That is what I'm excited about. You've got your settings. It makes it so much more intuitive and easy to use when you can just push a button on the screen rather than have to fiddle around with buttons. You can't remember what they are. You know exactly what you're getting here. Touch screen works great. Sound, settings, photograph, motion detection, format, playback. I like it, guys. I do. This is probably now my favorite AutoVox rearview mirror dash cam that I've uh, reviewed so far. In fact, it is my favorite of all rearview mirror dash cams that I've tried out so far. Let's take it outside and see what kind of video and audio we can get from it. All right, guys, this is a very difficult angle to get here because you got your touch screen right here all right this is how it looks in the windshield of the car now of course you can always take your wires and tuck them up here and run them down there's plenty of wire to go plenty 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 of wire all right um one thing i will say before we even start checking the video and audio quality is i'm already impressed with what i'm seeing on the screen so i hope it looks this good when i put it on the computer all right, guys, so this is rather unusual for me. Uh, the remainder of this video will be uh, you seeing the actual video footage of the camera, but there will be no audio other than me. And basically, I'm going to use this time to explain the situation, explain what happened, and tell you my final thoughts on this dash cam. Now, honestly, I absolutely love just about everything Autobox sends me. They do not pay me to do these videos. They have some really great products at really great prices. The issue is with this particular camera, while you have audio when you play it back through the camera, when I brought the SD card into the house and plugged it into my computer, I could not get any program to recognize the audio portion. When I pulled up Adobe Premiere 2017, which is what I use to do all of my video editing, it could not playback or render the video without actually crashing Adobe Premiere. It literally crashed Adobe, locked up my uh, locked up my Adobe. I had to force close it and nothing I did could fix it until I unlinked the audio from the video and deleted the audio altogether. As you can see, the video plays just fine, but with the audio portion, no program that I found was able to play the audio. 
So that includes Corel's Video Studio uh, 10, which is the latest version of that as well. Nothing would play it. And guys, it's not a system issue. My computer is a 2017 model Alienware 17R4 4K Ultra HD. This is a $4,000 computer by itself. Adobe Premiere is top-notch editing software. So this is definitely not something with my machine. This is something specific with the camera. They don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but they are talking about sending me another review uh, camera, and we'll see if we have the same issue with that one. Now, with all of that aside, I did reach out to AutoVox. They were very helpful and supportive. They said, go ahead and do the video anyway without the audio. I just wanted to make sure you understood what happened with the audio here. Now, as you can see from the video, guys, this camera... Uh, this dash cam, rear view mirror camera, is absolutely spectacular. In the daytime, crystal clear, beautiful colors, great depth of field. I fell in love with it. I mean, I'm literally shocked that this thing produces such a high quality video. Now, at nighttime, while it does produce very good video, almost every dash cam, you know, really starts struggling at night. And this dash cam is no exception. But... It does provide very, very good quality footage. So I can't complain. The daytime is excellent. Nighttime, I would say, is good. The audio quality when you play back the files from the camera was very good. I was really surprised with the audio quality. Unfortunately, I don't get to share that with you guys. So uh, the touchscreen works very well most of the times. There are a few occasions where it seemed to be a little laggy. But that's no big deal. It always did what I told it to do. Whatever button I pushed, it responded to it, even if occasionally it did take a second or two to get to it. So overall, build quality is great. It's a beautiful, beautiful rear view mirror cam. And uh, I really like how it's bigger. The mirror is bigger than what you would find in uh, probably most normal cars. And that gives you more area that you can view behind your car. So I thought that was a really cool feature as well. It's, uh, it's a great camera. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. Um, but hopefully we can come back and do a review a little bit later on, you know, with one that hopefully has a, uh, this issue fixed so that I can provide you with an audio sample as well. So with that being said, as always, check the link in the description. It will take you straight to Amazon where you can pick one of these bad boys up for yourself. I do highly recommend it. Um, even without the audio working on the computer, you can definitely play back the video and audio for a police officer if you're involved in a collision. Whatever the case may be, you can absolutely uh, clearly hear the video and, or sorry, hear the audio and see the video um, on the camera itself. So with that being said, guys, check the link in the description. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and stay safe out there.